I suppose I should go live. Now, I've just noticed my camera's seeing something behind me that it thinks is human, but... Hmm. Anyway, all good. It's the uh, advantages of the world we live in, which is starting to get dominated by AI. Hello, NJTE, Luca, Petro, Redican, and Alexic Dark and Dave Randall all in the chat. How are it's everybody? We're going to have a look at the schnitzel, peak schnitzel barn. And we're going to have a look at a bunch of trains. There's the Ice TD. There's the BR612A, which is the tilting beast from uh, TSW3. But it's not the same model, like all the rumour mongers keep telling people. It's actually a rebuild. And there's the DBBR648 as well, which is more like a tram than a train, I have to say. It's like a diesel-powered tram. Hmm. It's the kind of thing Metro would like, because he likes diesel power. Uh, what was I going to do? I know what I was going to do. I was actually going to cover something that was in my videos on this route, because I said the headlights don't work. And it was actually because I had this turned off, headlight flares. Because this content, uh, the 648 has got textures and flares, and the 612 and the Ice TD do not. Hmm, there you go. Yes, NJT, you're absolutely right. He does like electrics. Let me just put my streaming light on so my family don't forget that I'm streaming, even though I do it at the same time every week for roughly the same amount of time. But that's okay. Alrighty. Let's have a look at the Ice TD first up. And of course, we have a quiz. We have about, ooh, somewhere between 30 and 40 questions this week. All on the schnitty. New York to New Haven is an irony there, given the uh, New York to Trenton is coming out on Tuesday. Good morning, driver. With it being a wet autumnal morning, we have presented the perfect conditions for the adhesion test we'll be performing on this unit. Do not depart until 6.30. Well, there you go. Let's have a look outside. It's in the dark. My apologies. But that's okay. We'll get over it. You know, we're doing adhesion tests, so how come there's people in it? That's interesting. And where am I? I'm not there. Hmm. Well, let's get this thing set up. Probably want some headlights on. About there. What else we got to do in this thing? I've forgotten. I'm actually not going to turn on the alerter in PZB because I just find them really annoying in train sim. Looks like we're already in forwards. Very good. And it is working with my rail driver even better. The Ice TD is a diesel one, yes. Now, can we see those? Well, we can't turn all the way around. That's annoying. Might want some wipers. Or as Germans call them, vipers. I'm going to get attacked by uh, Lexic Dark today. I can't even see your profile picture, Luca. It's like this big. <laughs> can I rap about it? No, I don't think so. Oh, it's 6.30. It's time to go. Breaks off. And we're in forwards. And apparently we can go. And we're doing adhesion tests, apparently, so we'll just be waiting for the thing to tell us what to do. Stop at Nuremberg HBF Platform 20. So we're just driving to Nuremberg. Well, that's boring. We're certainly not going to do the whole run, because, you know, it's in the dark. And dark streams kind of suck. My headlights even on. Oh, yeah. You know, I turned on headlight flares so these headlights would be really cool, they said. Okay. Oh, look, at least I'm there now. And I've still got passengers coming with me on my adhesion tests. And they all, they all look grumpy, don't they? Wow. What about passenger view? Hmm. I think we need more power, don't we? Off we go. Everything's better with emus, mate. You've just got to be careful because they steal your sandwiches. I 
They might be testing a group of passengers on their seats. That would be their ability to clench. Well, that's a bit better on the headlights. Clown horn. There's one thing I really like about German trains, and that's that they don't honk at level crossings because they expect people to be smart enough to look after themselves. But there's one thing I don't like about German trains. Clown horns. Yes, Luca, you and Lexic Dark are taking over the chat. It's a good thing Nightbot's not awake. <laughs> Might attack you. <laughs> Nightbot's sleeping, except for its uh, periodic announcements that it will make from time to time. So this is the little Ice TD. We'll be talking about the Ice TD in our questions. And we might as well do the first one right now. Interpret Pegnitzelbahn into English. Actually, so I apologise. It's Pegnitzeltalbahn, in fact. Here's a bit of tilting action going on there. Yeah, I understand why they don't use their horns in public. They're embarrassing. That's like getting one of those little party tutors and going, Beep. NJT says the R211 was supposed to be testing on the Brighton line today. However, many service changes caused the test to be cancelled. That's tilting the wrong way. Oh, that's funny. What am I doing in there? I'm in a bridge. There we go. Anybody else see that tilt the wrong way then? See, it's fine in this corner, but in the last corner, the front carriage was tilting the right way and the rest were tilting the wrong way. That's oh, bizarre. Uh, here's a road crossing to honk at. Hello, Brad MacArthur. Welcome. Oh, you're pretty close there, Brad, with that answer. Metro says he's back. That's nice. What about front? It's actually kilometres an hour. And yes, I'm running at 170. We're going a bit quick. But that's okay. There you go, it's tilted the wrong way again. It really doesn't like going this fast, does it? I am surprised we're still on the tracks, though. Uh, red signal. <laughs> uh, that's probably enough of the ICE-TD in the dark, anyway. To have a look at the ICE-TD properly, why don't we do a quick drive with the ICE-TD? That might be a better idea. And let's run from, I don't know, Pegnitz to... Where are we going to run to? Lof. That'll do. We can have a look at it in the daytime. Did I set it in daytime? I hope I set it in the daytime. Metro says I was going as fast as the P40. The P40DC would dream of going that fast. P40DC is a pathetic thing. All right, now let's have a proper look at it now that we're in daylight. So it is actually quite pretty. And it's a hydraulic tilting unit. You can see all the big cylinders running along the sides of the bogies. So it's not the same as many other units. There'll be a question on that later, so make sure you're listening. Let's go look inside. Hi, how you doing? Are you uh, ready to write the ICE TD? That sounds wrong, doesn't it? G'day, mate. How you doing? Ready for a ride? Tickets, please. So it's got decent sound inside. Like, how is the audio today? NJT says, why are they the basic DTG BR class 170 DMU sounds? They're not quiet. They are different. And it has got the uh, air hisses of the, the bits going. All right, let's get some headlights on. Let's get some brakes off. And let's get the farin going. Full farin. It's doing nothing. Got to turn something else on, don't I? Oh, I know what I've got to do. Ha. 
now we can get some firing happening. It does have cruise control. So, so I can turn on AFB. Let's set AFB about there for the moment. So we'll set it on about 90. Let's give it lots of beans. So we'll have a run through the different safety systems. Yeah, the headlights look alright during the day, don't they? They didn't look so good at night time, which is kind of when you need them. Hmm. That's okay. Ah, look at all these people. Lexic Dark thinks, gee, wouldn't that train look great in a new livery? It's a bit hard to change the ones in Train Sim Classic. You actually need rendering software. It's not like... Uh, there you go, it's powering down now because it's reached this cruise control speed. Should we put the cruise control speed up a little bit? Why not? Look at that, I remembered the keys for it. It's Y and C. Uh, Metro, no, it's not an ICE 3, not at all. It's an ICE TD, which is kind of like a disease you get when you go out to the nightclub. Off you go, Tilty Monster. It's tilting the wrong way again. <laughs> That's funny. Oh well. Hello, David off 377 GT UK. I am doing quite well, thank you. And yes, the ICE TD does have a different body to the ICE 3. It's a class... I can't remember what class it is. 605? Yeah, I think it's a 605. Still haven't got a correct answer to the first... Oh, yep, up, 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 yes, we do. I was about to say we don't have a correct answer, but then I just scrolled back through. We actually have several. Uh, who's got it completely right? We have the Nitzel Valley Railway, which isn't quite right. We have the Pegnitz Valley, which is almost right. We have the Pegnitzel Valley Railway. Pregnitzel Valley Railway from Brad. So, yes, it's the pregnant Nitzel. That is tilting the wrong way again. That is funny. I'm impressed. What else have we got in the answers here? <sighs> Lucas says, I'm European, so I use the metric system. Of course. NJTE, Pegnitz Valley Railway. NJTE gets the full points because NJTE is actually the first one to have it actually right. So there we go. I shall scroll back down again. So let's start. NJT kicks off the points. Doom, doom, doom. It sounded like an electronic bell. So the Pegnitztelbahn runs up the right-hand side of the Pegnitz River. In-game... It's a partial representation of two lines. Which ones are they? Get out of the way, passengers who aren't there. There is one. Should we scare him? Let's scare him. Hello, LaserJet899 Overshoots. Good morning to you. Good evening to you. It's good morning to me. We're flying along the Pegnitzelbahn, and I just asked the second trivia question of the morning, which is the Pegnitzelbahn runs up the right-hand side of the Pegnitz River. In the game, it's a representation of which lines? Luca has to go soon. That's a bummer. No, it's not Arca to Köln. Nuremberg to Cheb. Yes, that's one of them. But how far does it go? It doesn't go all the way through the Nuremberg to Cheb Railway. Or Nuremberg, as it's called in the game. You know what I wonder? I wonder if the tilting mechanism is actually affected by the hemisphere. Hmm. That explains why it tilts the wrong way when you're running it in Australia. I'll have to ask. It's interesting. It never occurred to me to even think that. Until then. And then I thought of it. 
Oh, Metri, I really wish you'd actually listen to the questions and give answers that are related to the questions. I want to know, do these work? It's a pretty route. Do the gates work? So yes, we do have, we have several people saying Nuremberg to Cheb, and we have Nuremberg to Beirut. Well, that is where the line runs from in the game, but that's actually two separate railway lines. You can travel that way on an RE3, I think. Why don't we pretend we're going to stop here? Why not? Even though we don't need to because we're just running a quick drive. Let's see what its brakes are like. So, Nuremberg to Cheb is one of the railway lines, but it only goes to, to a particular station, but you don't need to tell me what that is. But that particular station will actually tell you the start of the other railway line. It took me a little while to figure it out, I have to say, so I think I might increase the points on this one. goes another one. Coming up to Hersbrook. I don't think it sounds like a GE locomotive. No one's got the second one yet. Both uh, Dave Randall and Brad have half points at the moment. We're introducing a new concept this week. If a question doesn't get answered, I'm going to skip it and I'm going to come back to it. And when I come back to it, it's going to be worth more points. Just to give you an incentive to go and look it up. That's Mr. Doof Doof back there. The line leads to Chemnitz. It does lead to Chemnitz. I think we'll come back to this one. And it'll be worth more points when we come back. I don't know if it'll open the doors here. It will. Let's go inside. Let's just slide on in. How you doing? Bye. That's quite nice inside. For, whoops, for Train Sim Classic. It's not bad modelling at all. That's our frame rate around here. It's that one, isn't it? It's a bit hard to see the frame rate in a white sky. Ah, uh, it's not, not horrible. Oh, it's pretty good over there. Why is it so slow over here? What's the texture's driving it nuts? I'm going to see if it's the train. Let's get the train out of here. Says he, hoping the signal's green. It's the train! Look at that, the frame rate jumped up when the train went away. Who coughed? Who was it? Who was it? Who was it? Was it you? Wear a mask. Looks quite a grumpy, don't you? We should be back under AFB. Let's see if it slows down when it gets up to 110. Bridge shot. It's a bridge in a town. I was hoping for a river. The bridge is very Bavarian. Feels right for a Bavarian countryside. Luca is back. How about that? Let's go on to the next question. And I'll just mark this one to come back to a jackpot. 
But um, one of the lines, I think, who who got it? Was it uh, both Dave Randall and Brad have half points each because they have half the answer. It did slow down, so we're still under uh, AFB. Let's speed it up some more. It's very laggy if you're using the AFB, so I have in fact just set it up to 200 and something, whereas I really want to be at 140. What else works in the train? Trains don't do anything. They do show stuff, they do change, but you can't do anything with them. There's uh, no openable windows. You can't open any of the cupboards like you can in Train Suit World 3. I don't think any of these switches do anything. No. So a 648 or a 612? All right. All righty. The route in game runs from Nuremberg or Nuremberg to Beirut. How many kilometers is it? Very smoky for a European train. And four exhausts. That implies four engines. I don't think it has four engines. It's interesting. Now it's tilting the right way. It blows my southern hemisphere theory. Ninety-three kilometers says Dave Randall, and Dave would be correct. I did ask in kilometers there, Metra, and Dave was the first one to get the answer in. Well done to the rest of you. Nice work. So we come through Nunkuchen. Nunkuchen sand, in fact. Yeah, it's another one. So there's only two of these. But we've seen three so far. That's okay. I looked up there and saw a red signal and went, oh dear. But it wasn't. Where are we going? We're going to Lorf. I suppose we better start slowing down for Lorf. Bridge. Missed the bridge. Missed the bridge entirely. I need bigger bridges. Oh, another bridge. Let's see if I can make this happen without even looking. Metro, I don't care that it's 58 miles. I asked in kilometres. To turn miles into kilometres in your head, you multiply by approximately 1.6. So if you have to multiply by 1.6, what do you divide by to go the other way? Still answers coming in for that one. So given this is two routes, and we know one of them is Nuremberg Cheb, what is the DB route number of Nuremberg Cheb? Maybe in game, Luca. I'm tipping in real life it can't. On a flat it could, but not uphill. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be shortly stopping at Lof. Lof is a silly name. I expect only silly people to get on and off.
course, by racing up here, I'm missing out on all my braking time. Let's do some braking. Let's do lots of braking, because it's a bit close. Less braking. 5903. You are correct, Mr. Brett. Well done. As we now arrive into Lof. Just looking forward to all the American stuff coming out next week. Apparently this train's an ICE 1600 and it's going to Hamburg Hochbahnhof. That's okay, but I don't think it is. I did ask for how long the Nuremberg Chef route was, you're right, but I asked in kilometres. Well done, you've reached the end of this quick drive scenario. Well, yes I have. So that's the ICE TD. We'll keep going on some questions with the ICE TD. And some other things. Now let's go on to, I think, what do you reckon? How about the 648 for a little while? The DBBR648. And we're going to run the RB30 Nuremberg service. On a rainy summer's day. That sounds like fun. So they didn't ask how long the Nuremberg Cheb route was. I asked what its route number was, and Brad got it right. Good morning, driver. Please set up your train and allow the passengers to board here at Nuremberg HBF, otherwise known as Nuremberg, ahead of our departure time of 10.08. We are not expecting any trouble today, i.e. we will be, and we'll be calling at all stations to Newhouse, where this train terminates. Wasn't that a Simpsons character? Newhouse? Alright, so that'll work that way. It's got a combined handle there. Don't want the cab lights. Instrument lights. Uh, they're on anyway, I think. What else do I need to turn on? There's something else I have to turn on on this train. Desk light? No. Where are the headlights? Oh yeah, I've got to turn on a key. We're already in forwards, so that's good. I might turn on PZB on this one, just for the hell of it. Headlight switch. There we go. Uh, I think it... Is it alt enter for PZB? Let's try that. Uh, no. Control enter. There we go. PZB's gone through its startup sequence. And we do have a red light up there. We should probably open the doors and have a look outside of our 648, which appears to be two of them joined together. Did the doors open at the back? Oh, yeah, I think they have. At Nuremberg Hochbahnhof, platform 14. Let's just pop up in the air and have a look at Nuremberg Hochbahnhof. Quite a large station. Many platforms. Extensive yard works at both ends. And quite a nice building. Lexic Dark will know what this is. It reminds me of the exhibition buildings in Melbourne. Quite a similar design. Hmm. Lucas says he found the scenario I modified on Sherman Hill and lost half his points and then crashed the train. Excellent. <laughs> NJT says O train in Ottawa, Canada has 648s before the rebuild of the line to be replaced by Stadler Flirts. They are quite popular, the 648s. So are the other trains on this route. It's questions about where else in the world these trains are used later on. We're still loading passengers at Nuremberg. There's a floating building over there. Let's go have a look. I always like floating buildings. Oh no, it wasn't floating. It's just strangely drawn shadows. Very good. Back to the train then. Should we look inside? There is a passenger view. You can turn all the way around in this one, which is always nice. We should have a proper look inside though, I think. Let's go through the cabin. Tickets please, tickets. Midget conductor here, wanting your tickets. 
sorry, little person conductor. How insensitive of me. Hello, tickets please. Tickets please. You need a ticket. You really do. Hey, these people are more my height. Tickets please. Oh, the train goes up. And it goes up some more. I've never actually seen that in the game before. I have never seen the NPCs getting up close to each other. How about that? Hmm. Okay. It's time to drive, I think. Looks like it. And I've got to remember we've got PZB on. And we do have a sort of green signal up there, so I'll have to behave myself. Let's hear what it sounds like. Oops. Better uncover my buttons so that I can actually uh, acknowledge PZB. It'd be a good idea, wouldn't it? We are in monitoring, so I have to stay under 45 kilometres an hour. Hopefully I... Uh, yep, got away with that. Dave Randall says he's not sure he'd want to get host close to him, and Luca forgot his ticket. He did look a little creepy, didn't he, Dave? Just a little. What did Nicholas do to one of these trains on this railway in March in 2015? I'll repeat the question. And it's worth 50 points, this one. That should tell you it's probably a little bit hard to find. What did Nicholas do to the railway and this train in March 2015? Yes, I know Germany's in the Northern Hemisphere, Luca, but I sometimes have fun things happen with the game because I'm in the Southern Hemisphere and it does strange things like the sun coming up on the wrong side of the planet, for example. We're still in monitoring. It's been a very long time. Yep, we've come out of monitoring now. Haven't you guys ever noticed that when I'm playing the game, the sun comes up on the wrong side of the planet? I've always thought it was kind of funny. It doesn't happen. It's weather dependent. So it depends on the weathers that have been set up for the route. Some of them do it, some of them don't. Up to 80 k's now and we're on our way to Nürnberg Ost. Has anybody figured out what Nicholas did yet? No. Too fast. Too fast. That's better. Got to be careful going too fast when you've got PZB turned on. It whacks you. You talk too much, Luca. I hadn't noticed. Nice guess, NJTE, but no. Hello, British Ace. We've got people working on our current trivia question. And it's worth 50 points, so you know it's going to be a little hard to find. What did Nicholas do to this railway and this train in March 2015?
The 612 sound is very enthusiastic. You can hear it such a long way, as you just noticed. And we'll hear it disappear again soon. There it goes. If you haven't watched any of British Aces videos, Luca, you should. this station must be a little one well that would be why it's called Nuremberg Ost little station oh I see it now does this mean that since no one's found it that I have to skip the Nicholas, Nicholas question when we come back to it as a uh It'll be double points. Think I'm skipping it. So I'll come back to the Nicholas question later. It'll be worth 100 when we come back. So keep trying to find it. But I won't take any answers now till I come back to it again. Ah, oh, my fire patrol was good. So we're not specifically looking for wildfires. We follow the steam engines more for insurance purposes than anything because it um oops overshoot oh ladies and gentlemen my apologies for putting you in the weeds today on our way to new house you'll have to go to the back cars to get off sorry about that chief now we follow the steam engines in case they set any fires we put them out but uh I was actually following a steam engine that is powered by diesel burners, so it had zero chance of creating a fire, unless its brakes did it. Next week I am firing on the same run. Here comes another very noisy 612. It's a pretty good bug, this one. Have you noticed how noisy the 612s are, British Ace? It's just silly. Are you running RA again, Luca? You're in and out, in and out, in and out. It's like being at a brothel. Who said that? Off we go to Nürnberg Elenstergun. your first ramps assist today at Farmer. Good stuff. Ost is east, says Lexticark. Good to know. We have to stop here. I should probably stop accelerating. As we approach Nuremberg Lenstegen, I think. So, next question. And I've already answered this one in a stream. What is Nuremberg in English? English translation of Nuremberg. It's worth 10 points. And I've already said it at least three or four times. the brakes. British Ace, well done. Ten points for you. Nuremberg is the correct answer. First points to British Ace. And guess what I've done again? Ladies and gentlemen, thanks to the competence in your driver, you will indeed need to go to the back cab again. Set up for a bridge shot while we're waiting for the train to depart. There you go. Standard guns all position. Halfway up a light pole. Ah, someone's remembered my commands. Thank you, NJT. Time to 
time to go. So Nuremberg is the second largest city in Bavaria. Note I specifically say Bavaria, not Germany. What is the largest one? Green light on the signal. Hello, Dot Rail. How are you? Welcome. Just asked a trivia question. Ooh, we've got a few people going for Munich. A lot of people going for Munich. Dave Randall got it first. Well done, sir. Dave Randall, 10 points. As we pass the 64 kilometre marker. Yeah, it's interesting, British Ace, because um, everyone sees the order of the answers differently. So I can only go with the one that I get. And the first one I saw was Dave Randall. Ladies and gentlemen, we're now approaching the tapware manufacturer, Beringsdorf. Or Beringsdorf. Shortly be arriving in Beringersdorf, where we'll probably overshoot again, because you know. Why are you grumpy, NJT? Oh, Brad said the German way of saying it. Okay. I suppose I could accept the German way of saying it. Why not? Let's get Brad points as well. Ten points for Brad. Why not? So, when it was first designed and built, what does the mnemonic ICE-TD actually stand for when it was first built? Ah, Bavarian beer. Served by a buxom wench. And if you've never been to an Oktoberfest... I strongly recommend you do. Everybody needs to go to an Oktoberfest once in their life. Beer and sausage. That's what an Oktoberfest is all about. Close, British Ace. Not quite. The T is actually a German word. I'll give you that hint. Look at that. I didn't even overshoot. What's going on? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Beringersdorf. Dot rail, well done. Welcome, welcome to the quiz and your first answer. And that one was actually worth 20 because it was a little bit harder. What does it stand for today? The same letters stand for something different today. What do they stand for now? Trebzug does mean multiple unit, you're correct. Dot rail is German. Well done. Mm. 
we have at least two German descent people in the chat today because Lexic Dark is also. British Ace, well done. Tilting Diesel. Ten points to you. Most of the ice... Whoops, I'm going to have to get in a cab because I'm probably going to have to acknowledge this. I think. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now approaching Ruckersdorf. Ah! Now, did I acknowledge that at the wrong time? So, oh, I know what I did. In Train Sim World, you have to acknowledge as you go over the thing. In Train Simulator Classic, you have to acknowledge afterwards, I think. I think. Now I've got to wait for the emergency brakes to reset. There they go. Maybe not. The brakes have released. Have I come out of forwards again? Yeah, I had. I popped out of forwards again. Oh, and again. Oh, it's going to make me sit here for a minute, isn't it? Well, let's look at the outside of the train then. While we sit here for a minute. Am I right in thinking that in Train Sim Classic you have to acknowledge with PZB after the signal? Because in Train Sim World you have to do it as you go through it. But I think Train Sim Classic it's after. Am I going to be allowed to stay in forwards yet? Let's try. No! Come on. Alright, let's put some brakes on and release them again. Let's see if that resets it. Tough. I think we just have to wait a minute. Yeah, I failed in JTE. Not a dramatic fail. British Ace saw many 313s today. Beautiful things. Very good. While we're waiting... Uh-oh. There's a train war on. LaserJet 899 overshoots. Doesn't like the 313. Dot Rail asks, do I know Pacific National or Horizon? Yes, I do. Let me drive. Nah. Still waiting for a reset. Why don't we just turn the train off and turn it back on again? Reboot. Can I drive now? Do I have to acknowledge it, maybe? Let's push all the PZB buttons. Right, now let's try it. Yes, that's what it wanted. It wanted the PZB button dance. If you don't know what the PZB button dance is, you just press all the buttons. <laughs> and it does things. Like that. Dark corrects me and says, technically Treepen is to drive and Zug is a train. Which is why when you occasionally get Zug Zwam Bringsung, train emergency stop. Look at that, I know German. No, I don't. Not at all. But anyway, there are only two ICE TD trains still in service. Which ones are they? Do you know, one thing I've always wondered, LaserJet 899 overshoots, are you the actual LaserJet? Hello, Rail Able. Welcome. Feel free to join the trivia quiz. No one's actually answered yet whether I have to acknowledge PZB and Transim Classic before, during, or after the signal. I'll try it just after this time. We'll see what happens. I should get more power. I really should. NJT gets 605.017 and 605.019. You are correct. Second points for NJT today. 
You're on the board, NJTE. So far we have NJTE with 20, Dave Randall with 30, Brad with 30, British Ace with 20, and Dot Rail with 20. Doing pretty well. There are some very big point questions coming up because we've got a couple that have doubled in points now, which I'll come back to. Now let's try a PZB Acknowledge this time, just after it, see what happens. Okay, I've got a thousand hertz warning, but we're not stopping. There you go. It's afterwards. Now we know. Dot Rail said, Zug not hold his train emergency stop. What's the Zwang Bremsung then? And LaserJet says, just a fan of the real one. Well, I'm a fan of LaserJet too, to be honest. He's a uh, very, very creative and clever individual. I quite enjoy watching his uh, speed tests. He's recently become an ambassador too for DTG. Can I go into third person? Sure. Why have I gone back into neutral again? Did I just pass through a signal? Did I pass through a signal without even looking at it? Oh. No. So why did we go into emergency? <sighs> I didn't go too fast. Thank you, NJTE. I don't know why that did that. That was a bit strange. Because I wasn't going too fast, and there shouldn't have been anything else to acknowledge. You don't have to acknowledge 500 magnets, and we just went over one. Not that it registered or anything. have now arriving next to Mr. Duff Duff, whose girlfriend looks really impressed. Oh, she's abandoned him. She's walked through a bin. They're pretty clever, these people that walk through bins. Jot Rail is wondering when Australian routes are coming to train Sim World 3. Oh, look, I wouldn't actually say never. But what they'll have to do is... Um, I don't think DTG will ever do it. I'd be surprised a little bit. Well, maybe they will. I don't know. But um, I would be a little bit surprised if they did because they run their big three. Germany, Britain and America. I should say the UK, rather, because it's not really Britain. It is actually in the UK. There are Swedish routes in Trains in World 3. One, anyway. Rivet made it. It's ready on the button. It's a Rosalini in Train Sim World 3, or a Rosaline. It's a narrow gauge. Swedish line. Just maintain my passenger comfort through that curve. Yeah, a Rosa line. 
Yep, it is a Rosaline or a Rosalini. So we just crawl our way down to Ludwig Shoe. Ludwig Shoe? Hmm, something. Next question. What kind of train is the Ice TD? And I'm not looking for uh, tilting diesel or anything like that. Hello, Ferro Mero. Oh, actually, I think Ferro Mero is right. It is Swiss, not Swedish. Oh. One of them's home to trees and the other one's home to Ikea. Yes. It's crawling our way down to Ludwig Show. Diesel multiple unit. Bread has the first correct answer there. That is what I was looking for. Yes, rail able. I mixed up Switzerland and Sweden. I have to admit the only two things I really know about Switzerland and Sweden are that the people are very tall, mostly. Somewhat Nordic. It is a little bit like that, Brad, but at least Austria and Australia are opposite parts of the world. British Ace is looking forward to driving the new Glasgow Suburban Extension. Did we get an answer on that, British Ace? Are we getting, getting a key? I suppose it depends whether you've got the base route that goes with it or not, because I don't. I'll have to ask about that. A hey, label asks, what do I think about Sweden? Nothing in particular. I don't know a lot about it. I know IKEA used to have everything made there, but now it's all from China. Didn't we stop at Lorf before? We're stopping there again. British Ace says he always mixes up Switzerland and Austria, seem very similar, mountains and lots of German speakers. Well, German is sort of the language of choice in the area, I guess. Ah, excellent British Ace, good to hear. Happy Tuesday for me. NJT wonders what the next, section, next question for the 648 is. I've only asked one question for the 648 so far. No one knew the answer. Ladies and gentlemen, next stop, Luf. Rail Label says my videos are entertaining. Thank you. I am kind of a clown, so it works okay. Yep. Bridge. Bridge. Ah. To get our bridge shot in. Is there a magnet next to this sign? No, there's not. But it is warning me there's a slowdown coming up. I thought it had a rabbit or something on it, but it was just leaves, that sign. 
Dot Rail asks, what's my favourite electric multiple unit, preferably from Sydney? Well, Sydney is about 900 kilometres north of where I live. And electric trains aren't really my thing. I'm more into a... Uh, more into steam, to be honest with you. The only, the only Sydney one I know is the Tangara. And the only reason I know that is we have one in Melbourne for a while. Says he going ridiculously slowly into the platform. Does Nightbot do a Gunzel? No, it doesn't. Perhaps it should. That'd be a good command for Nightbot, wouldn't it? I did some gunzling yesterday while I was uh, doing my fire patrols and the track patrol in the morning. It's kind of a funny event yesterday. And it shows why you shouldn't make assumptions about other people and what they do. One of the safety people approached me on the railway that I work on saying, you've gone over your hours, you must leave. Because they assumed that I had started my track patrol at six o'clock in the morning like I normally do. I had not. I didn't even leave Belgrave until about quarter past eight. Brad asks, what Nightbot commands are there? I'll actually have to log into Nightbot and have a look. But you've seen two of them. There's uh, Overshoot and Fail. Oh, there's Nebworth, if I miss a station completely. I should rename that command to, to be... Uh, to be ma Matt, maybe. Let's have a look at Nightbot's commands. Log in and have a look. Ooh, Serial Killer. Nightbot's commands, we have... Fail, Nebworth, Overshoot, and Spad. Will it work? I don't know if you can change them on the fly. I just added one. I'm not sure if it works. It does! <laughs> there you go. Doors shut. Shall we leave? Why do we let these people in? They all want to get in, clearly. So, you know, we'll open the doors again. We won't be like a normal driver. There you go. Nightbot likes trains. Should we ask a question? Should probably ask a question. Who built the ICE TD? There are two answers to this. I shouldn't have opened the doors. Now we've got to wait forever again. All right. Off we go. Full power. Feel the thundering might of the 648. That man works out a little too much, I think. A bit of steroid action happening there. We have two people with half the answer. Can someone explain to me? So each of you gets 10 points. British Ace was first with Siemens. Dave Randall was... In fact, Dave Randall's first with both names. Dot rails both most names. Who can explain to me why it's both? So I think uh, British Ace was the first with Siemens that I saw. And Brad was the first with Bombardier. Dot rail was the first with both, so I'll give Dot rail some points as well. Why not?
I don't see one from you, NJTE. All right, see you later, Ray Label. And points for Lexic Dark as well. On the board, Lexic Dark. Lexic Dark always tries to give you ace points, and I won't let him. <laughs> and pretty chase. So close second. Didn't I give you points, Dave Randall? I'm sure I gave you points. I did. No, I didn't. I did now. <laughs> yeah, it must have been an interesting contractual situation. Let's just look at how they're joined together with this ram on the top. That's interesting. As we come into Nunkirken Ascend. So everybody has to sing Star Trek and NGT wants me to check my DMs on Discord. Don't generally have Discord on during the streams because it has a horrible habit of coming up on the wrong window. Got Metris sending me stuff too. It's interesting, NJTE, because that didn't even come up in my chat. Let me bring this over here. I can't. I don't want to bring the whole Discord over. Ah, look, I go off looking at Discord. Look what happens. I just got told off by a game. Yeah, that's really interesting. NJTE definitely did get an answer in, but it's definitely not here. I'm just going back through the chat. No. Oh. How interesting. But I'll tell you what, NJTE, because you could prove it, you get some points. And we're not opening doors here, clearly. So we're just skipping that station. Yeah, live chat's on. I think it just filtered you out. A bit strange, isn't it? Yeah, well, all good. Off we go to Rishan's Wand. Yes, yeah, send friend requests to Metra. Be Metra's friend. He'll send you about 6,000 pictures every day. Some of them are his and some of them are stolen from the internet. Next question. How is the 612 similar to the 605? No, I don't think it filtered you out for that because there's lots of Bombardier people coming through. So I don't know. It's just a bit weird. Let me see if I can actually stop at this station, shall we? That would be good. Hello, Stefan. Welcome to the chat. Stefan is the uh, maker of Midland Line New Zealand and the JA and the KB and the DJ and the EO and all sorts of other things. Just quickly looking through the answers, it looks remarkably like Dave Randall got the first one in because I mean, he's got a full answer as well. How about I just give you both points? That's easier, isn't it? 
Oh, we've got a competition today. Well, I give it all the brakes in the hope it actually stops. We have NJTE so far on 50, Dave Randall on 50, Brad on 50, British Ace on 30, Dot Rail on 30, Lexic Dark on 10. I actually think it's going to stop early. Release the Kraken brakes. Metro's like a picture factory. That's what he does. Makes lots of pictures. How many pictures would you normally send me a day, Metro? It's going to be a perfect stop. You watch. How about come up this end? For just for a change. I'm the Russian swan. What other common name of the 612 seems like it would be right at home in the 1960s? I don't think Lexic Dark is on Discord, actually. You can use Google Metro, that's what everybody else is doing. You could try using ChatGPT. That would be interesting to see if it can answer the questions. You just type in the whole question and see if it gives you the answer. That could be the new trivia quiz friend. Ah, oh, look at that. Who doesn't want these in Train Sim World? We need more diggers. We really do. We need diggers that move in Transim world. Right, he's just perpetually digging a hole that's not actually there, so there's no hole. And he makes a pile that never actually grows. But that's okay. Hersbrook next up. Dot Rail's got to go. See you later, mate. Thank you for joining in. Dave Randall. Well done. Dave Randall got the points with Swinger. Very 1960s concept, still alive today. And Stefan says, new Bing will give you the answer and then insult you. Yes. I was actually um, watching the transcript of a very funny conversation between a guy from CNN and um, the new Bing. The new Bing basically declared that it loved him and that he should leave his wife for it. And I thought that was pretty funny. So these large corporations unleash these tools. But I just don't realise that there's a key ingredient to all things. People. People will take your thing and they will mess with it. Until it does things that are embarrassing. As it is. Are you finally fixing your driveway, Lexic Dark? Lexic Dark lives on top of a uh, rather steep hill.
There may or may not be questions about that later, NJT. Stefan says, luckily it's a closed test at the moment. It has lots of potential, but I think it needs its emotions brought under control. Well, it's actually interesting because the Bing AI is the chat GPT, and the chat GPT actually doesn't do that. It's got protections in it. So it's like Bing took another copy of the, the training library, but didn't actually take the protection part of it, which is silly. Don't tell me Ruby's one of your sheep, Lexic Dark. Hersbrook, if you're getting off here, please get your belongings, children and relatives, and get off my train. You may get on the train on the other side if you wish. They're very noisy, 612. Stefan says the Bing AI has access to the internet, however, which is where things might have gone wrong. Possible. NJTE indeed. As we get out of here and head for Horstat. No, Hohenstadt. Lexic Dark. May I remind you of Wallace and Gromit? Some of those sheep are pretty clever. Yep, Stefan has searched for AI and it's gone nutty. That'd be the next in the Gone Wild series, wouldn't it? AI Gone Wild. Could be funny. And away we go. Everybody knows Sean. Is the 612 also an ICE? This is a slightly tricky one. Dave says no. Metro says it's a DMU. Lexic Dask says it's not shearing them with anybody. NJT says not really, but it used on IC services. Ah, there's close to an answer. So we got a partial answer to that one. And they have been used on intercity inter services. And a bunch of them. Brad says not an ICE, but an IC. Hmm. I would actually suggest to you that for a time, there were about 20 of them that were actually painted out in the red and white or the predominantly white with the red stripe, and they were, in fact, ICEs. They actually did run as ICEs as a replacement on one of the routes for about three years. Why hasn't Metra told me to honk the horn four times yet? Normally would have by now. Frame rate's pretty good around here for all those trees. So 
Uh, no one gets the points for that one. There's another livery that they're commonly seen in in Germany. What's the uh, the mnemonic for the operator? And I'll give you a hint: the yellow and white. NJTE for the points. Who's done a big copy face from somewhere? Hohenstadt, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, oh, it doesn't think my back door's on the platform. I'm sad now. It is the answer, NJTE. You're right. I only wanted the mnemonic note, which is the. Um, B W E G T N J T indeed Wikipedia Off we go to Vora What kind of transmission does the six four eight have? I'd probably accept a couple of different answers for this. NJT, yes to hydraulic. I'll give points for hydraulic. There's another word I would also look for. If anybody gets the other word. Ah, Brad. Brad. Hydrodynamic. You are correct. It's like aerodynamic, but with liquid. Quite a long way to Vora. We cruise along in our little 648. It's one of those things, is it a 648 or a 648? I don't think we ever settled whether these gates open. I want to see. Better slow down too. They do. Oh, that's cool. Half and half. Quite clearly out in the countryside now. Lexic Duck's getting very excited about viscous couplings. Coming in for the 110 zone. What is the base class of the 648? So we pass that yellow 11 sign back there, which tells me it's 110 zone. Lexic Dark does enjoy a good hot oil. Hello, Ray Label. Welcome back. We're just coming into Vora. Brad MacArthur, I've known Lexic Dark for a long time. I worry about how his mind works. Alstom Corda, Cordia Lint, welcome NJTE. You get the points on that one. Now, 
couple more questions about the lint. Brad's gone for the lint 41. He's gone a level up. Brad actually has the more correct answer, so I'll reward you both. Hot oils and a vacuum attachment. Ooh, Lexic Dark. No, I don't care about you at all. <laughs> you are a very good source of amusement, I'll give you that. Rich up. Ladies and gentlemen, now approaching Vora. Don't forget your bits and pieces. If you're getting off here today, thank you for travelling with DB, the latest railway. Hello, David Park. Rail Abel says, do you think TSW3 will add a sleeper train? Oh, wouldn't surprise me. They've got the Amtrak licence. They have a lot of freight routes that Amtrak runs on. It wouldn't surprise me if it happens one day. Ladies and gentlemen, now arriving at Vora. If you're getting off here today, it's Platform 1. You may need an umbrella. And as the signs say, please don't get run over by the train. Interesting building. Hmm. I want to see what this sign actually says. Yep. Don't fall off the platform. Anybody want to translate that for me? It's like Vorschit Schnell Vertefahrten. Doorbars are on this train, sounds like crickets. David Park reckons. Well, Rail Label wants a sleeper train, so yeah. You know, I, I really wouldn't surprise me if it comes along one day. David Park bought the Edinburgh to Glasgow and the US passenger pack to buy a Seller and Trenton cheaper. Still cost a lot. I'm going to go broke. That was me before I was lucky enough to get to Ambassador stuff because, uh, you know, I was spending a lot of money on this stuff because I was still buying them all because I'm crazy, clearly. Mind you, the Ambassador thing's changed a little bit now. We don't necessarily actually get all the keys anymore. Cruising through the countryside on our way to Rupestegen. Lexic Dark says it's a kinetic energy poisoning warning. And he gets splat. And David Park says he's got gift money to spend. He wouldn't use his own money. Fair enough. I've had absolutely zero answer from YouTube on any of the available support channels on what happened when Kat bought five subs. Because she bought five subs during a live stream. Two people got the, um, the subs. So there were other people there who could have got it, but no one did. There goes a tilting 612. And she actually got charged for the five, but only two people got them. So where does the rest of the money go, YouTube? We all want to know. It's quite clearly YouTube just keep it because it's um, not come through to the channel. It's a little bit of a scam. So I guess just be aware that 
if you buy gift subs on YouTube and they don't all get used up, you still pay for them. YouTube keeps the money and the person at the channel doesn't actually get them. Which is kind of sad. Ray Label says, what do you think about the rail driver? I've had a rail driver since 2001 when they first came out. I bought it to play Microsoft Train Simulator because using a keyboard sucked. And I'm using one right now, in fact. It's how I'm controlling this train. Should I bring rail driver cam back? If you want, I can bring Rail Driver Cam back for a, a future stream. And Lexic Dark says, this is how the CIA is 80% self-funding. Yes. I think how it's a large multinational company gyps their um, both subscribers and partners. And normally when you approach the various support bodies on Twitter for YouTube, or if you go directly through the YPP contact, they normally respond to you. But in this case, none of them have. So they know about it. And they're not willing to say anything. Hello, Fours. Is that foreplay, do you think? I think a 648 would be good in Transim World. Why not? It's kind of like a tram. I like trams. We are at Rupus Deegan. So, the 648 is a DMU or a diesel multiple unit. What else is it known as? Luca must have fallen asleep. It's the only person who talks more than Metra. Who's desperately trying to stay quiet today. Off we go to Velden. I'm actually impressed by that answer in JT. It's not what I wanted, but you know, I'll give you points for that. Oh. I almost cast that to my TV. That would have been funny. I think the family would have been overly impressed with that. And Brad also gets the answer I was looking for, but I'm going to give NJT points as well, because you know, it's a good answer. I was impressed. It's a 10 to each of you. Now, what is it about the Cordadia Lint class that would completely annoy Metra? What have they done recently? Rail Abel asks, do you like train spotters? Well, it's apart from working on a railway, I kind of am one. I do chase trains. Not as often as I'd like to, but I do do it. There's a lot of tunnels on this route. Ah, uh, well done, NJTE. Well done to NJTE. Got the answer I was looking for, which is a... At, uh, where is he? Hydrogen fuel cell power. 
And Stefan suggests it's also known as a zoom slug. Fair enough. And David Park says he wants to trans train spot on his metro, but there's a lot of misbehaving teenagers. Yeah, the youth of today. You know something that made me feel old during the week? I had lunch with two young people who used to be my scouts, who have, um, so I, I last had any involvement when, when they were 15. So they have gotten their degrees and gone into the workplace and it's like, yep. We are at Velden. How far do we have to go with this one before we change over to the 612? One more stop, going to Newhouse. In the game, the 648 that you drive comes in two car sets. So this one's got two two car sets joined together. What other combination do the Cummeds in real life? They're not in the game though. It's my coffee. Oh wait, don't walk away. Where's my coffee? Where's mine? Come on, where's my coffee? Coffee. Give me the coffee. Give me the coffee. Ah. No coffee for me, clearly. Yes, Brad, thank you. I was described on the Dovetail Forum as a senior gentleman. NJT as a rail car or a three car unit. That is correct. Three car units, what I was looking for. You're on fire today, mate. Rail Abel says, one time is in Hamburg, Altona. I was at the train station and saw an ICE-1. It's actually his favourite train. They are kind of cool, the ICEs. I love that the HUD tells me it's a graduated self-lab because it's, it's not. It's not that kind of break. German trains don't have Westinghouse. Ready on the button. To my amazement, PZB did not bite me then. Ladies and gentlemen, this train will terminate at the next stop, New House. Please make sure you get off. Anybody that doesn't get off will be retained and used as slaves. You'll be checking tickets for the rest of your lives. Yellow coming up on the signal here. thousand hertz on. So what frame rate gobbling feature has to be turned on in Train Simulator for the headlights of the 612 and the ICE TD to actually work? You can say glad to be of service if you like every time the doors open and close. We'll jump into the 612 after we finish this one.
Light flare, Dave Randall. Dave Randall gets it first. Brad MacArthur, a close second. Sorry, Dave. Sorry, Brad. Dave edges on this one. As we come into Newhouse. Lexic Dark says some blooming feature. Is that like a blooming onion? It's a strangely American thing. They take an onion and they cut it and cover it in breadcrumbs and stuff and deep fry it. And they claim it's Australian. But we don't do it. I was once eating in a place called the Outback Steakhouse in Los Angeles. The restaurant manager was very happy to have Aussie in there. And he asked me what I thought of all of the Australian things he had, because he was quite proud of them. But unfortunately for him, my answer was, I was the only Australian thing in there. Everything else was just made up. Ray Label asks, can I guess your name? Well, no. <laughs> yes, they schnitzel an onion. David Park says, at my metro so far, I've seen teens, college students jump the fair gate, but the security doesn't care. Created a mess on the escalators by spilling snacks and throwing trash at the train as it comes in. Yeah, that's not very cool. Well done, driver. That was a great run through the valley to Newhouse. Apart from the station, you skipped the couple that you overshot and the generally slow drive. This service will be returning to Nuremberg Hochbahnhof in a short while. So no time to rest today. And then the scenario ends. You've got no time to rest, but then you rest. All righty, let's go look at the 612. Which one we run? Nuremberg to Bayreuth? No, we've done that. Bayreuth to Nuremberg? Nah. I think we might go out to Bayreuth, because uh, why are these ones hard? Oh, that one's in... Oh, it shouldn't be dark. Why is that hard? I don't understand. I don't understand why that's got five hards. Let's go find out. Right, Label says he forgot the question mark. NJT says Outpack Steakhouse is a franchise. Yes, it is. There's lots of them. We even had them here at one point. They went bankrupt because, you know, they were crap. Please set up your train and it'll allow passengers to board. The line is a little busy through the valley, but we're not expecting any issues. Ah, let's try and remember how to set this train up. We've got headlight switch. We remember how to run this thing. Uh, I think that put the headlights on. It did. And I think we have to put the reverser into forward before we can open the doors. Yep. Doors are now opening. And that's... There's a switch here somewhere I have to do. That one? That one. And not that one. Tilt's already on, so that's fine. Desk light, don't care. And this will be my PZB. No, that's sander. That's a PZB shape switch. That's confusing. What about this one? I'm sure there's another switch somewhere I have to turn on. Ah, there it is. Right key. Honk. Horn works. Nothing else to turn on here. This is doors. Be prepared for the noisy 612. Let's go look inside. Second class. No, oh, we can't go to second class. First class. That's where we belong. Yeah, first class. Clearly better people. Serial killer. Serial killer. Serial killer. Why is this man passed out in the kindergarten section? His little transparent table. He's clearly passed out. Why are you here in the kindergarten section? Strange people. Tickets. Tickets. Hey, aren't you up the front? What's going on? 
You got, you got the front too. Different shirt, but you got the front. Oh, it's him again. We'll just uh, stay on this guy for a while. Rail Abel asks, is TSC the original train simulator? No, it's not. Uh, the first one for PC was Microsoft Train Simulator, and that came out in 2001. Before that on, was it the Sinclair? Sinclair ZX Spectrum, I think. There was one that came out before that. I can't remember what it's called, though. Lexic Duck says the pronunciation of HBF is great, just needs a tiny bit more of that phlegm sound. Well, I'll get a cold for you, and that'll be fine. Are there more questions for the 648? There are. How many scenarios come with this route? How many driving scenarios, specifically? Okay, driver, clear to depart. You will need to stop short on the marker at Pegnitz. You may also be required to request permission to pass the signal protecting Pegnitz at dangers. It may be red. That just means their scenario doesn't work. Away we go. Oh yeah, it's a silly throttle, isn't it? I want to increase power. I keep forgetting it's a silly throttle. Now, the TSC version of this throttle works so much better than the Transcend World version, I've got to say. Hello, Rayalable. You're going to go off because it's midnight for you. Okay, enjoy yourself. Thank you for watching. No, don't increase brake. Hold brake. No, don't even do that. No, 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 no. Off. That's what we want. I didn't turn on PZB. Let's, let me stop. Just stop and I'll turn on PZB. 10 including Railfan. Correct. There you go. Dave Randall. Spectrum Head, Evening Star and Southern Bell. He knows what they are. Southern Bell was the one I was thinking of. Uh, control numpad enter. Turns on PZB. Just wait for it to do its thing. Increase power. No, it's 10, Brad. You're right. There's 7 drivable and, and 10 with Railfan. Don't doubt yourself. And Lexic Dark. What does HBF stand for? Did I just get whacked by PZB for going too fast because I was in monitoring and I was too busy talking to you guys? You might say that. Come on, brakes off. Brakes off. PZB dance. Don't make me regret turning on PZB train. PZB dance again. Gonna let me go now? Ah, oh, it's because the thing's not in forward. Alright. years since this channel was formed. Yeah, something like that. It's been a while. Big train station says Lexic Dark. Main train station says NJTE. Yeah, I'll take NJTE's answer. Why not? But actually, interesting. Actually, sorry. No. Point's gone. Point's gone. What I said was what does... Let me just get this into the off position so I don't get in trouble. What does HBF stand for? And it wasn't main station or big station. It's Hochbahnhof. Hochbahnhof. So, points gone from NJTE. Sorry. It is actually Brad. Who gets that? Because he answered the question I asked. 
Now, interestingly, the other one was the next question, but it's out now. So, we're on the branch line from Bayreuth going into, let me check my notes here, Schnabelwade. How many times does it cross the Pegnitz River? How many times does this branch line specifically cross the Pegnitz River? Lexic Duck says technically it's high, but usually where people bot dozers. Whatever that means. Uh, Stefan, the 612 is new. The 648, I think, existed before the Ice TD is new. We had an Ice T before, but this is the first Ice, Ice TD. I see ETD. Oh, Lexic Duck. I'll give it to him on the spelling. So our current question is, how many times does this branch line specifically from Bayreuth to Schnabelwade cross the Pignitz River? And I have to say, you're all going to hate me. Classic Dark recalls his driver asking him for durries one time. That is an Australian term. Can I bot a durry, mate? Does anybody use durry outside Australia? Dave Randall for the win. Zero. You are correct. How many times does the rest of the modelled part of the main line cross the Pegnitz River? Only the modelled part. I am being a little bit naughty. So we'll stop that. Petrus guess 30. Brad's guessed 25. We've had Metra previously guessed 12. Just let gravity take care of our speed reduction here. Watch the tilty train doing its thing, going around the corner here. Is actually tilting. It's only a short one. It's only a baby. Brad's gone 25. Only the modelled part of the line. How many times has it crossed the Pegnitz River? And I have to say, Wikipedia is your friend. going past the sawmill. Should probably get some power on again. A bit more power maybe. Dave Randall for the win again. No, no, he's not. No, sorry. Close. NJT 16, also close. Ooh. Stefan says new models. Don't think he would pick that. Metra's gone for 19. Lower. NJT, lower. Dave Randall, higher. Metra, lower.
It's another one of the... I hope the point is it. This could be a short run. There's a longer version of me. NJT 15. NJT 14. NJT gets it with 15. Pure guesswork. Pure guesswork. Why don't we go back to one of those questions we skipped because maybe you figured it out now. This one is now worth 100 points. So this is a game changer now. 100 points for this one. What did Nicholas do to the railway in March 2015? Going a bit quick, but won't let that worry anyone. No, didn't burn it. How's our tilty going? Ooh, nice and tilty. Super tilty. Now it's got to tilt over the other way. Oh, that would make you sick. That would make you really sick going through S curves in a tilty train. Like, uh, Metro goes created. Dave and Larry gets grounded series. No. No, I'm not talking about the ending class. Stefan says flooded. I'd have to go close. Close. That means Stefan's got a bit of a handle on what Nicholas might have been. As we're about to pass through Krubin at high speed. Somewhat higher than we're supposed to, in fact. But we're going to be going uphill soon, so whatever. Get out of the way. If I have to give out clues, I'm going to take it back to 50 points. Not snow, not a train robbery. Maybe we'll come back to it again later on. The other question that I was going to come back to was Pegnitzelbahn runs up the right side of the Pegnitz. In the game, it's a partial representation of which lines? And we've already got Nuremberg Cheb. What's the other one? We're on it right now. We are driving on it. Uh, it wasn't actually a derailment in JT. Not a border closure. Wow, that's a serious tilt. That's probably because we're doing 137 kilometers an hour in a 110 zone. And somehow I'm going faster, rolling uphill. I've picked up 20 odd kilometers going uphill into Schnabelwade. No, it's not that one, Brad. No, the Nicholas train didn't actually derail. Ooh. We're going to go through a set of points at uh, 23 kilometres over the speed limit. Train coming. Watch out. Incoming. 
Where's my coffee? You still haven't got any coffee for me, have you? No. Just walked straight through me like I wasn't there. Not a flood. Trees on the tracks that someone crashed into. Well done, Stefan. Indeed. That's exactly what it was. And we're now going downhill. So we should probably have a little bit of brakes on. A little bit of hydraulic braking. It seems to be holding our speed. And yes, uh, we, I think we just experienced our rolling uphill bug. And Stefan gets the uh, 100 points, by the way. Well done to you. So currently we have NJTE on 120. Dave Randall is on 80. Brad is on 100. British Ace is on 30. Dot Rail, 30. Lexic Duck, 10. And Stefan, 100. Yeah, I wonder why, Ste wonder why Cyclones are on your mind recently, Stefan. I wonder. Ooh, what have we got coming up here? You can't usually get away with this shot in TSW3. It all goes horribly wrong. But in TSC, you just go through stuff. It's fine. We should probably slow down a little bit, I think. Since I've got PZB turned on, sooner or later it's going to smack me. And Stefan is correct. Nicholas was a storm which knocked down some trees. And a 648 ran into them. There were no serious injuries, no deaths. There were lots of minor injuries. The driver survived by actually opening the door and jumping out of the train. Yes, you did, Lexic Dark. Just slowing down because it warned me about pegnets. We do, in fact, have a yellow. Let's get some normal brakes going. got an 85 flashing which means I'm actually in monitoring now so I've got to slow down NJT the snubble weight Bay Ruth Railway correct how many points was it giving me for that one double points 20 there we go That does look like a red up there, doesn't it? Actually, it's not a red, is it? Or is it? Got some other strange combo on it. No idea what that signal's saying, but let's just... Just say it's just in case. I think I broke it. Let me go. Right, let's put the brakes back on again. Alright, let's go to off. Let's do the PZB dance. 
Into forwards. VZV dance again. And if it doesn't work this time... There we go. No, it wasn't red. It wasn't a spad. It had yellow lights on it as well. Because if it was a spad, the game would have stopped. But I am going to not go too much faster, because I'll be in monitoring. Or I should be. Um, I don't think I am. Oh, no, I would have released it when I did the dance. Life. You had to breach your policy, Lexic Dark. Right, your policy of actually joining in. Ah, where did we get up to? One of the tunnels that we went through earlier on this route when we were driving along. Shares a name with the longest and deepest railway tunnel in the world. What is that name? I hope we're going into the right-hand track. We're not. Oh, do we have to couple up or something? Interesting. What am I supposed to do? Pick up passengers? Yeah, a couple. No Metro. Uh, in JTE, Goddard. Well done. Well done. I'm afraid you're wrong there, Metro. The longest tunnel in the world is not in your country. I hate to tell you this, but there's world outside the United States. let our passengers out and then we have to go and couple up with that one in the front this should be interesting I don't think I've ever coupled anything in TSC before off that's all we want Let's just turn off PZB. Okay, you may now couple to the train in front of you. Hmm. Increase power. Just a little bit. Okay, why aren't I allowed to go? Did anybody else get the impression turning off PZB killed it? Can you not drive when your headlights are off? Come on, that way, that way. There we go. Oh, it wasn't the headlights. It was the headlights. Look at that. Slowly crawl up and whack these into each other. Today we are watching in the wild the strange mating practices of the DB612. A male is stealthily approaching a female. Okay, driver. 
signal allowing, we now pay, now, may now depart for Newhouse. Surely I have to shut this cab down and um, change to the other one. Surely. That's the back, isn't it? Or is that the front? That's the back. That's the front. Is it? I think that's the front. Yeah, it's the front. Off we go to New House. Uh, headlights already on. Going to forward. Release the Kraken. Give you power. No, because I'm turned off. Now I have power. There we go. Yeah, I think that might have been just a touch, touch buggy. I haven't turned PZB back on. How long is the branch line that we just drove on? We're coming off. We've come off it. that seem to be getting power no just the branch line not the whole route itself and just the modelled part sorry I should say why aren't I getting power oh there we go We have to couple up to another one. At Nuremberg, Ockbahnhof. Bahnhof. Ockbahnhof. Ockbahnhof. <laughs> 18.2. Yes, indeed. Well done, NJT. We go on the downhill run. With our little clown horn. That encodes the new house. I'm actually going to run this all the way through. 1932, 18... 30. How does this work? 1902 and 1932, so half an hour. But then I have to couple it at 1830. Oh, that's weird. Oh, well. We probably won't finish this run because it's quite a long one. And I have a lot of tutorials to make today for the new content coming out next week. While we're cruising along down the hill here, maintaining our speed relatively well. Let's finish our questions. Now, someone else has already answered this. On the, uh, on the branch line, even though it's single track and there's passing loops, you actually see another track occasionally. 
And I think, Brad, you've given me this answer before. What's the other track? It also goes to Beirut. Must be a delay from when you go from braking to powering, I suspect. No, you gave me the answer before. There we go, Wheaton Bay Ruth, NJTE. Brad, you could have got yourself 10 points so easily. So the Inti Reggio Expresses operating 612 trains following the main line this branch joins up with ends up on what train sim world three route? Says he going way too fast. Tilty tilty. So if we continued on from Beirut we would join up with another train sim world three route which one is it oh njte dresden chemnitz is correct and funnily enough it also has a 612 on it what a surprise as we go down the hill here also part of dresden risa yes where does um, the Pegnitz River officially originate? I believe we're driving next to it now, in fact. It's very, um, straight, it's edges. So unless it's a man-made canal, I'd expect a little more movement than that. Not quite NJT, that's the area. No. I wonder what searching you guys are doing. That's totally different answers to what I got. I actually have that it originates in Pegnitz officially. But then there's where do the locals think it originates? So the locals of Pegnitz think it originates somewhere else. Yeah, that was the official one, but we went past that question in GTE. We didn't get an answer on it. We moved on to where did the locals think it originates? So the local. This is clearly Matt Peddleston's house. His holiday home in Germany.
Rain does come from the sky, Lexic Dark. You're right. Now, apparently it originates in the um, Lindenhart Forest, according to the locals. We are soon coming into Newhouse. My brakes really aren't doing anything. I have all the brakes on, but I'm not getting any air brakes. I'm getting no brakes at all. I am finally slowing down, but I have no air brakes. We're slowing down only on the diesel hydraulic braking. Which is so weird. I think it broke when we coupled up to the other one. If I put it in off, can I have it have air braking? Ah, oh, you know what's going on? When we coupled, we didn't put a brake key on. Now we'll be able to brake. Look at that! Thanks for the warning scenario. I'd be vaguely surprised that um, your emergency brake didn't work if the brake key wasn't on. I'd be slightly surprised at that. I think we have to couple up to another train here, don't we? Oh no. No coupling up here. Just a stop. Here's an interesting one. There is an ethical code that affects experimentation on humans to this day. And it's named after one of the cities on this route. Now what I want for 50 points is the first item from that code. people walking along going blinded by the light yeah, I want the first first article from that code you're right that it is called the Nuremberg code but what's the first article from it Okay, driver, clear to depart. You will need to stop short on the marker at Nuremberg Hochbahnhof. You may also be required to request permission to pass the signal protecting Nuremberg Hochbahnhof. As it may be at red. I love it when scenario designers say it may be at red, because what that means is that when they did their testing, it didn't actually work sometimes. NJTE for the win. Well done. The voluntary consent of the human subject is absolutely essential. That is it. So when you're experimenting on humans, you must get their consent. 
It's actually one of the reasons that so many companies um, get in trouble these days when they put in things like self-checkouts. Informed consent is tricky. So explain to me the three differences between RE and RB services when they're operating over the same route between the same stations. Get a bit of air braking going. It all comes down to understanding Lexic Dark. Most people probably wouldn't. NJT for the win gets both names and the actual difference and faster with fewer stops. Well done. Oh, Brad, you found the same article, clearly. <laughs> now, this one might be a little bit challenging for you to figure out, but let me just say, um, you need to go to the DB website to get this answer, not any of the third-party ticket bookers like we had problems with last time. So only on the DB website. If I wanted to travel from Nuremberg Hochbahnhof to Beirut Hochbahnhof on a single trip by RE train first class, how much would I have to pay on a weekday in Euros? Ooh, bad luck bag. So I'll say all that again. I want to travel from Nuremberg Hochbahnhof to Beirut Hochbahnhof on a single trip by RE train, first class, how much would I pay on a weekday? We are crossing the river again, the strangely geometric and straight river. Everybody's busy hunting on the DE website right now. Probably is too much, Stefan. So, first class, travelling from Nuremberg Ochtbahnhof to Beirut Ochtbahnhof on a single trip by RE train on a weekday. Thank you, Lexic Dark. Ah, uh, cash converters. How we all love going and buying things that the unfortunates have left behind. Crossing the Pegnitz River again.
Lexic Dark says nothing because he used his Euro Pass. That would be a good way to do it. Brad MacArthur says 22.10 Euro. I think that's a little on the high side, Brad. Ah, uh, 12.46, and JT gets it. That's correct, 12.46 euro. Took a little while to figure that out, didn't it? <laughs> Brad, did you buy a ticket? Oh dear. Yeah, it's a single. Brad, I think you bought a return. You'll have to go there now. Get on the Jetstar sale, mate. See if you can get anywhere in Germany. So here's another ticketing question while you're all on the DE website and Brad's trying to get a refund. If I was going to live in the area on holiday for a month and wanted to travel everywhere in the area by train every single day I was there, but I did not want a URL pass, what's the best ticket to get? So cheapest and lets you travel every day. No, not how much it costs this one. Just which ticket is it? It's about 300 euros. 320 something, I think, from memory. The Solo 31. How about that? He gets another 10 points. Three hundred and thirteen. Yeah, I thought about 320, something like that. One of the towns on this route exists six times in Germany and other countries. Which one is it? And that's our last question. And it's worth 50 points. So one of the towns on the route exists six times in Germany and other nearby countries. Which one is it? Europass is a lot cheaper, Lexic Dark. Although you've got to be careful with some Europasses, says he. You're driving ridiculously fast. In fact, let's just keep driving ridiculously fast. Why not? You've got to be a little bit careful with Europass because some of them don't let you travel every day. Some of them are every second day or every third day. Hot and stat coming up. Except we're not stopping. Ladies and gentlemen, if you wanted to get off at Hornstadt today, tough. Enjoy your trip to Nuremberg where you can come back. Not Hersbrook, no. Not Sonnenberg either. At least I hope they don't. <laughs> I only found one. Ruckersdorf, NJTE, 50 points. Now, if you can find a source for Sonnenberg or Herzbrook that says it's got six of them, I'll probably pay the points on it.
Oh, you can't post links in the chat, can you? Damn. <laughs> Let me do some searching myself. some searching off screen here. Hope the train doesn't crash. Sonnenberg appears to exist four times. And the other two are mountains. What was the other one? Hersbrook. Hersbrook only once. Just having another look at Sonnenburg. Because I didn't look outside Germany, it just occurred to me. Let's have a look. only find four. So, nice guess anyway. That brings us to the end of our questions, which means today, let me add these up. cruise through some complex track work and I should be going faster shouldn't I we have NJTE on 290 points today Dave Randall on 80 points today Brad on 100 points today. British Ace on 30 for today. Dot Rail on 30 for today. Lexic Dark on 10. And Stefan for 100. And I will add those up to the... Uh, I get a fail, Brad. It's funny, they put solar panels next to a train line, which means every time a train goes past, they make less power. When the sun's in the right place, anyway. I think the big points questions is well worthwhile. No, I haven't missed a station, because I wasn't supposed to stop there. I was going to Nuremberg. See, look. We stopped at Newhouse, got a tick for it, and now we're going to Nuremberg. I don't actually have to stop. Not in Ebworth. Wasn't meant to stop there. It's all good. And now we're going to pick up some speed, because we're going to make this 25 kilometres go away in a flash. Let's see how fast this thing can go. Purely for my own amusement. It's all good, Brad go whoosh with some passengers. It's going to reach 160, I think. It's a good thing I don't have PZB turned on anymore, isn't it? So well done to NJTE on 290 for the day. It's quite impressive. That's, uh, what, three times your rival? Nearly four times your rivals.
clearly very good on the Goog. Yes, a miss station would be a net worth. It's a bit of an in-joke in Train Simulator Classic. I wonder how fast it can go before it just falls over. Twenty K to go. I think we may have found the top speed of the six one two, one hundred and sixty three kilometres an hour. The um Nebworth mean comes from Matt Peddleston who was live streaming Train Sim Classic with a new route one day and drove straight through Nebworth Station. Ever since then, failing to stop at a station has been called a Nebworth. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're planning on alighting at Loft's platform today, you can't. You can, if you wish, open the emergency door at the rear driver's compartment and get your little foots running and go for a jump. Yeah, I think Chatham Mainline sounds about right, NJT. Six one two on a rocket. Indeed, Lexic Dark. Caught out monologuing. He was trying to explain something at the time, I think. One two zero eight zero. Coming up again on Ruckersdorf. Mr. Creepy again. Such an awkward positioning. Moringasdorf coming up. NJT was three when it happened. Picking up trucks. Yes, NJTE seems a very British thing indeed. It was Australia, it would be called Nobworth.
We have a lot of knobs. Iron knob. Big knob. Scott Morrison. Lexic Dark remembers banging his head under the kitchen table when he was two. Oh yes, those moments. I used to have a German Shepherd that used to run under our tables and bang her head really hard on them. She never seemed to remember that it, this was a bad thing. It's just like, bang, it just keeps on going. Ooh, we're going to keep running at 163 coming into 100 zone. This could get slightly interesting. We'll probably have to slow down soon anyway. Because we're only 6 kilometers out now. And thank you to the people who have stuck with me. I think we might start throttling off now, because we probably have to start braking if we're actually going to stop at the station. There's a little bit of air brake. And I don't know about you, but that felt like we were going to go over then. I think that kind of braking doesn't actually do anything when you've got the air brakes on. Not my red signal, someone else's. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll certainly be arriving at Nürnberg Hochbahnhof, where this service will terminate. And we will attempt to not crash into the train in the platform. After this, she'll go and have a... Uh, brief break and then I'll record a ton of tutorials that will come out on Tuesday. I have four trades to do tutorials for. only four because I don't need to do tutorials for the SD70 they're just different colors although I'm sure someone will ask me if I've got one because you know people are clever ladies and gentlemen please collect your belongings children pets service animals and any other creatures you may have brought aboard and get ready to leave the train Brad asks, how long does it take to record a five-minute tutorial? It depends how well it goes. So, I usually work out what I want to have in a tutorial, so I do a bullet point script. I don't try and script the words, because whenever I try that, it just turns out horribly unnatural. So I just work my way through it. Some tutorials you could actually get a five minute one over and done with in five minutes. Others you may have to do a lot of driving and a lot of mucking around to figure out how things actually work. So you could spend anywhere from literally five minutes for some things up to a couple of days just trying to make it work properly. Just in case. It's 
Looking out for a red signal somewhere because I'm expecting to go into an occupied platform. But I don't see one. Actually, it depends how the points are set, really, doesn't it? There's our train, so we must be going down there. What does it seem so depressing when you come into these massive stations? And there's uh, not that much in there. Good answer, NJT. Brad asks, how much does a child sell for? And NJT says, depends on their capabilities. Lexic Dark says, that's why a lot of artists end up tortured. Some days you can smash them out like it's cheating and others need rework, retakes and lots of editing. Wants me to go two point two further. Uh, no kiss yet. I've got to stop and let the passengers out first. Then we'll be coupling up. In just a moment, Dave. Hal, open the pod bay doors. No, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that, Dave. You may now couple to the train in front of you. Prepare for bonkage. It's the coolest thing about Snaffenberg couplers. Yeah, poor Hal. Wait till they reprogram chat GPT to not be rude. I'll be sad when that happens. I actually used ChatGPT to write some code the other day. I was working with an API and I got it to write some Python code for me and I told it to refine it and I just kept telling it to do all these things and it did and it just all worked. It was great. All right. Kerplunk. Well done, driver. What a great run through the valley that was today. Did you bring me any durries? 
You did well to get us back into Nuremberg on time to allow us a bit of rest before our path back towards Beirut opens. Time to head to the staff room here at Nuremberg and grab a nice hot drink. Beer. Well, that's it for today. So, coming up on the channel, there's a bit of stuff happening. Let me pick it up. I don't know how much of it will work for people, but... Uh, Let's just grab next week's streams, because I have put them up now. Oh, apparently I'm live. How about that? Your channel. And we have some upcoming live streams. So there's Let's Try Out a Cellar on New York Trenton. That's coming up on Tuesday night. That will be at 9pm Australian Eastern Daylight Time, because that's when I'm allowed to start it. And the next day I'll be doing New York Trenton with New Jersey Transit and Amtrak Stock. Neither of those will be really long streams because they're both on work days. The next day's one starts at 7 p.m. On the weekend after that, we'll do a proper look at um, Trenton and we'll have a proper look at everything. So we'll spend our usual time. And then the week after that will be Boston Providence with Amtrak and it's new signalling, followed by the Heritage Collection. And why am I doing the Heritage Collection last Oh, look at that from Yoinka McSkoinka, 29 days and some skulls. That's nice. Um, most people get into the chat that early. But anyway, we'll be doing this one, the Heritage Collection, which is just a bunch of SD70s with different paint jobs. And we'll figure out what to do with them. I'll probably make a scenario, most likely. Or six. All good. Anyway... Have fun, folks. Thank you very much for joining in today. It's been an enjoyable stream. And we'll uh, see you on the next one. And congratulations again to NJTE. I will get the top 10 up shortly. See you later. Bye. Thanks for watching, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. I always like to get your feedback in the form of likes and comments because they help me understand what you want. Give the channel a subscribe and click on the tinkly things so you don't miss out on any new stuff. And thanks for your ongoing support. And please, be safe out there.